What's up? We're Merlin here. This week on 3D Nerd Stop, we're going to upgrade our hairspray shield. Alright guys, this is the model we're going to modify. Uh, these are the spray shields that I currently have on my printer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to modify these. You can see how this leaves a pretty good gap at the top. And what happens is sometimes when you spray the hairspray down on the build plate is it creates a cloud and that cloud sometimes will go over the top of this and get up inside everything. So we're just going to raise this up, oh, I don't know, about 70 millimeters. It won't completely close the entire thing off, but it will close more of it off. So hopefully the hairspray won't enter the mechanics of the printer as much. So that's what we're going to start with, guys. So we would do that. And what we would do is we download this file as usual. Make, check our copyright rules and make sure everything's fine. We are allowed to modify this. So we'll download that. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to open it up in Tinkercad. Now, as you can see here, I've already done it. I've already modified it and made it bigger. Uh, but to show you what I did, I can ungroup it real quick. As you can see here, we have two red pieces. So what I basically did was take a box, okay, and then I determined that it's two millimeters thick, okay, and I wanted it to be 70 millimeters added in height. So then I took that and then stretched it across. Oops. Took that, stretched it out across here, and then just moved it around until I got it to meet up with the original piece. Um, now down here, I don't know a lot of people that know if you know Tinkercad or not, but down here you can adjust by how much it snaps to or you can turn the snap to off. Um, I usually like to put it at point one. That way if you decide to use the arrow keys to move it, as you can see it moves in real small increments. So you're able to use the arrow keys to adjust. So I do that all the time with it. But as you can see, I did that. I did one here, and then I did another one going vertically here. So all I did was make it just a little bit taller. Okay? So if we group, group all that back together. As you can see, we have one piece. Alright, I also did the other side. Now the other side was a little bit different. Select all that real quick and ungroup it. I did the same thing for the bottom and going up vertically here and for this piece here. So those are three boxes. But then I also had to grab a wedge and rotate the wedge around so I could make this piece here. Once I got all those in place and stretched them out and to the height and everything I wanted so it would match everything. And I just selected all of it and grouped it together. Now you can see that we have some pieces. Now, I did notice when I did this, and I don't know why Tinkercad is doing this, it has a couple lines like drawn here and a line drawn here and here. For some reason it drew those lines. I can't get it not to, so I didn't worry about it. When I printed the pieces out, they came out beautifully, so I didn't have to worry about it. Um, but So we got all that grouped together. So then next thing we would do is we would download these, download for printing. And I always down, download them as an STL file. So you can do that and as you can see it downloads it. Alright, so the next thing we do is pull them up in Cura. So here's our first one. Um, as you can see it just barely fits on the build plate. I could have gone a tiny bit bigger, but I think that'll be big enough. If I need to make it any taller, I'd actually probably create a new piece to put on top of it instead of actually extending this up anymore and trying to make it fit on the build plate. So I think I've pretty much filled the build plate with this. Okay, as you can see, we're going to do our standard settings. We're going to do it at 0.2 with a 1.2 millimeter thickness, top and bottom at 1.2 millimeter. We have our fill density to 100%. I just did that because at 2 millimeters, it's not real thick. I mean, no matter what, it's going to make it 100%. It just makes it stronger to tell it to do it 100%. So I did. Uh, do our print speed at 60. 
with our temperature at 210 and our build plate at 50. Uh, as you can see, this says it's going to take roughly nine hours. Uh, 53.6 meters of material, which is 160 grams. Okay, so then we can go to the other side. As you can see, the other side pulled up beautifully here. And it too just barely fits on the build plate. Now just a thought, um, a couple of you might be asking why did I make, why did this little triangle have to be here? What that little triangle does is makes it so you don't need support material so you can shift this piece over so the two pieces interlock with each other. Uh, just a little FYI, that's why the little triangle is here. So, uh, that being said, this has all the same settings, 0.2 layer height 1.2 millimeters for the shell thickness 1.2 for top and bottom 100 percent infill print speed of 60 print temperature of 210 bed temperature of 50. okay this one says it's going to take about 10 and a quarter hours uh, which is 61.55 meters of material or 184 grams so we would save these off to an sd card which I did, and then we'll switch over to the printer. We'll get the printer heated up or get her printing. Jack it up. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. 
Until next time, have a great day. Thank you.